Coach, first action against another team. How do you think your three squads made it? Well, it was two and a half. A couple of kids, a couple of the young kids had to do double duty, so I was very happy. I mean, uh, result one nothing. You know, we created a couple chances, but the kid hit a really tremendous free kick, so you can't really do much about that. But very happy with the effort of the kids, and you know, the senior players got the fitness that we wanted, so. It was a good day. That's where I was headed was senior players, Gustav yeah. and Shane O'Neill, Joven, et cetera. They got their fitness and they built from there. Yeah. So we had the GPS on them, kind of threatened them a little bit. If they didn't do enough work during a game, we read the GPS and then they had to go run with the fitness staff. So they were good. They all applied themselves in the game and, you know, they love running in the game better than running on their own. So good day again. Can you highlight a couple of the young guys? I watched Joss Atencio. I thought he, he, he stood out and looked like he belonged, but are there some young guys that popped out to you? Well, all of them. I, I, I thought Danny Robles played well, Atencio, Chris Haggard in the middle of the field. You know, Ray came on, you know, Double Air, Sam. I mean, we, we got a really lot of good kids here, and that was a good test, and it was a good exercise for us as coaches to see if they can measure up. In the second session, Double Air and Dylan Cerna had some joy down that left-hand side. Yeah. Is that something that you foresaw? Well, Cerna has a little more experience. He's got a way more MLS games, so he looked a little bit ahead of some of the young kids. But, yeah, it was good to see. Diego Forlan is the head coach of this squad. You had words with him before and after. Your thoughts on pretty much a legend on the other yeah. side of the coaching box. What I absolutely loved, uh, nice guy, everything, nice guy. I wish him much success. Uh, but what I loved is some of our academy kids went over and wanted photos with him because he was such a big star. And that, 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 that makes me feel good. They, they're students of the game. They know who he is, and they wanted his photo. Yeah, they understand who is in that technical box. And then moving forward, you would get to play a different team team besides yourselves. I mean, that's got to be good to, instead of scrimmage, you're, you're the same guys over and over. You get to play another opponent. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's always, you know, these preseason trips get long. You're training against each other every day, so getting a fresh set of eyes, fresh legs, you know, all that sort of stuff, it's good for our guys. And next week, where do you go from here? Uh, we will be up at M LMU for our last final closed door session game and then off to Seattle on Wednesday. And I meant to say not where you're going date wise, but where are you doing fitness wise? How do you think these guys are going uh, as we progress towards Champions League? Well, they're good. They're on schedule. They're on track. I mean, we'll, we'll have the sports science guys digest the data. The eye test today was a good, it was they passing grades.